Here we have a standard tape measure. This is a 25 foot tape measure. And in the tape measure we have inches and we have a loose hook. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna tell you why it's loose and how to fix it. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what these little lines mean all the way down to the 32nd. Let's play between the 10 and the one. So we're dealing with a zero and a one. So here we have zero, half inch, one. Zero, half of half is a quarter. Then we have the half, which is also two quarters. We have three quarters, and then the one. Here we have one eighth, which is half of a quarter. If we just double the bottom number, one quarter, that's the same as dividing it in half. So this is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven and eight eighths. If we divide these in half again, we have sixteenths. So this is one sixteen, two, three sixteen, four, 5, 16, 6, 7, 16, 9, 16, 11, 16, 13, 16, 15, 16. So again, we have all these little lines, an eighth and a quarter, three eighths and a half, three quarters, and five eighths, and seven eighths, and an inch. Now we're gonna use another tape measure to get even more detailed because they have, I have this one, which has the eighths on it. So in here, we see the one eighth inch mark. Now I promised you that we were gonna get it 30 seconds. And if we look at this one, compared to this one, we had the eighth inch and the 16th inch marks. Well here, we have the eighth inch and we have the 16th inch marks. But if you multiply 16 by 2, which is the same as dividing the fraction in half, we have the 32nd marks. So here we're seeing that we have 1 eighth, 1 quarter, 3 eighths, 1 half, and so on. Here we have 1 sixteenth and 3 sixteenths. Here we have 1 32nd, 3 32nds, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15 30 seconds, which means that 16 30 seconds is the same as half an inch. What was that? 16 17 30 seconds, 18 19, 20 21, 22 23, 24 25. Have you noticed that all the shorter, shorter lines, as they get shorter, they're odd numbers? 25, 26, 27, 29, 31, and 32. Sixteenths, sorry, thirty-two, thirty seconds. Okay. There are thirty-two little spaces between the inch marks. Okay, so between this inch mark and this inch mark in thirty seconds, there are thirty-two little yellow spaces between the lines. Let's work on some fractions. So let's say I wanted to add an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch. Well, we already know that the space between a quarter inch and a half an inch is an eighth. So in this case, it's easy to see that it's three eighths. If we do the math and we add a quarter inch to one eighth, we need to convert the quarter to eighths. Well, here, a quarter is two eighths. So over here, we say that 2 eighths plus 1 eighth is 3 eighths, which matches here on the tape measure, the quarter plus an eighth is 3 eighths. Let's do half plus a quarter. Well, we already know that between half and zero is a quarter, and between half and the full inch, there's another quarter, because it's three quarters. So the half plus a quarter is three quarters. 
Let's do that on paper. We change the half to two quarters by doubling the bottom and the top. So we have two quarters plus one quarter equals three quarters. Just like here, two quarters or a half plus a quarter is three quarters. Let's make it a little bit more complicated and work with sixteenths. We don't have the lines for sixteenths. So we want to add one sixteenth to one eighth. We know that these, not the tiniest lines, which are sixty fourths, but these lines, that's a sixteenth. So one eighth plus a sixteenth is three sixteenths. It is one, two, three. So if we do it in math again, we're going to change the eighth to two sixteenths. And then we add two sixteenths to one sixteenth. And we end up with three sixteenths. Let's try a quarter plus three sixteenths. Here we have a quarter. There's a sixteenth. There's a sixteenth. And there's a sixteenth. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. Well, if we do it in math, in the math method, we're going to have increase our quarter inch. Well, let's see, it's two eighths. That's not enough. Four sixteenths. So three sixteenths plus four sixteenths equals seven sixteenths. And finally, let's do 30 seconds math. If we take our tiniest lines, the 30 seconds, and we want to add them to another fraction, let's say half an inch. Let's do half an inch plus five thirty seconds. So we could count them half an inch, which is um, 16 30 seconds, plus five. One, two, three, four, five would be right there. So that's 16 plus five is 21 30 seconds if we count the lines. Let's do it in math. So we have our half which we have to convert into a like-minded fraction. So that would be uh, 32 on the bottom, and half of 32 is 16. So we have 16 30 seconds, plus the 5 equals 21 30 seconds. I promised you I'd tell you why the hook was loose. And notice, look at this one. It moves by just a little bit. This one moves a little bit easier. Well, the reason why this moves is to account for the thickness of this metal here. Because if you're going to measure something to the inside, it wants to move in, so it's that thickness uh, adjusted. And if you're going to move measure something to the outside, it's going to shift out slightly. So let's line this up to this other metal ruler that I have here and see how it fares. That looks pretty spot on. We've got the one inch here, and we've got the inside of the hook right here. Now if I push this hook in, and now I've got the outside of the hook lined up to the one inch. So the inside gets longer. or the outside gets shorter. And that's why the hook is loose. Here's some other videos that I've made having to do with measuring as well as some worksheets. Check it out. Thanks for watching. And subscribe and like. It does help. The algorithm. The YouTube algorithm. Have a great day. Bye bye.